What's up, Razor Faithful? Travis here, your humble community servant here at GDC in the heart of San Francisco. We are checking out the Razor booth where we've got the Nabu X, OSVR, and of course, what Game Developers Conference would not be complete with the Chroma Software Development Kit. So come on, we've got a lot to check out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi, I'm Richard Garriott. We're showing Shroud of the Avatar and we're showing off the Razer Chroma keyboard. Now, uh, back at our home office in Austin, Texas, we integrated the Chroma SDK and we've uh, deeply integrated uh, the light effects on the keyboard into Shroud of the Avatar. And so, for example, uh, you know, right now as I'm starting to play the game, the keyboard is lit normally. Uh, if I pull out my weapon, uh, the, uh, the Chroma keyboard is now showing me my hit point state. So it's green right now because I have full health. If I get involved in some combats here with some of these bad guys, uh, as I take damage, uh, you can see it's already turning a little bit from green into some of the yellow, uh, more a little more yellow, and it'll turn red as I'm close to death. Uh, also, there's other keys lighting up. These lighter blue keys are showing me that the spells that I have available to me, some of them can form combinations. And, uh, and whenever there's some that are available for combinations, it's showing me that I can cast an advanced spell uh, by pressing that combination of keys. So with the Chroma SDK, you can not only uh, create in-game actions on the keyboard, but you can also run mini applications on the keyboard itself. So I'm actually playing Snake, I'm, I'm navigating with the arrow keys. We can have a mode where everything that's happening on the screen can be reflected on the keyboard. It really dynamically just shows what kind of uh, things going on on the screen is reflected on the keys itself. So really dynamic lighting effects um, straight from anything that's happening on the screen. All right, so another thing that we did with the Chroma SDK for the Black Widow Chroma is um, a volume peak meter that shows on the FTs here. So here you can really see that volume uh, just showing what's going on. This one's a lighting effect. Um, and this one, you can change the color of what the volume is going to be reflected as. Um, and then the volume will just show up here. Hey guys, welcome to the Razer booth. We're here uh, showcasing OSVR. So um, right behind us we have Radial G by uh, Tamika Games. Uh, it's a racing demo powered on the OSVR platform. Um, you see it here on the OSVR HDK. Um, one of the six demos we're going to be showing off here at GDC. Uh, the other ones are like leap motion based, not lab based, very, like lots of different demos uh, to kind of show to game developers and, and um, get them a feel of the versatility of OSVR. We're going to be releasing the software open source uh, over the next couple of days so anyone will have access to it. And, and then we up, also updated the Hacker Development Kit. We replaced the LCD display that we had before with an OLED display. So we had lower latency uh, thanks to faster pixel switching um, as well as higher color contrast so an um, even better VR experience. So right here is the Nabu X. It's the latest wearable from Razer. We launched it in January. It's won, won a bunch of awards. Um, it's got notifications, fitness tracking, and social band-to-band -band features. Um, we're here at GDC trying to get it out to as many developers as possible because we want them to work with the Open SDK, and that's really, really what we want them to do right now.